Hey guys, Christine here, and I set the intention for, you to, for this reading to find you at the time that you need to hear it, that it helps provide you some guidance and clarity and helps you make some decisions along the path. Um, this reading is for Wednesday, November 3rd. Um, if you're seeing it on another day, that is probably because the title drew you in, and I hope that it resonates with you. If it doesn't, we'll connect on another day. If you're interested in a personal reading, I give away one free personal hour session every month. Um, and the way to enter for that drawing is there's an, inf an information box below. There is a link. You can enter that way. I am also open for personal readings, but please only schedule them through my website. So let's see what the universe wants me to talk to you today, November 3rd. The wondrous universe, walk in beauty. Remember when I see this card, right? You are that magician. You are the magician, right? The universe is within you and the universe works with you and you work with the universe, right? Everything is energetically connected. Walk in beauty. When you allow yourself to see the beauty that is inside of you and the magic that is inside of you, it then allows you to see the magic that the universe brings into the, that is in the universe, right? The beauty in the world, the beauty in um, everyday things. Um, it allows you really to see that, but it all starts within you. You are the beauty of the universe. You have an amazing gift to work with that universal energy. And when you realize that and you start to allow yourself to experience it, you are going to see amazing things occur for you, right? And with you. So let's go into this reading. I'm, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set out the cards and then I will interpret them through the reading. So a lot of emotion here, lots of emotion. All right. All right, so we got a lot of emotion here. We got a lot of, we got a lot of cups. So what I have here in the recent past is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is someone that is very intuitive. They are very tender-hearted, loving. They nurture themselves and they provide that nurturing to others. Um, they, you, if this is you, you could be tapping into your psychic abilities, leaning into your spirituality, really listening to your intuition, right? Um, but what I, what I want you to remember when I see this card, and it is in the, like the recent past, is really, really trust yourself. Really, really trust yourself, trust what you are experiencing. You could even be dealing with someone that is very intuitive, very psychic, tenderhearted, and loving, right? But what I see here in the, in the present is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is a very romantic, over-emotional. Sometimes they can be over-emotional. Sometimes they can be temperamental. But they're, they are romantic. They are like very introspective. They can, you know, really um, bring creativity and like offers of love, right? But they're, sometimes they're, the Knight of Cups is very slow moving sometimes and can be very imaginative, right? Lost in romance. Rom my, one of my favorite words is I always say, the Knight of Cups is so romantical, right? So romantical. Romantical is not a word, but everything is better with it cool at the end, right? So it's someone that is really like trying to come towards you with love, right? And sometimes this person can be very idealistic, like passionate, passionate love, right? But what I see here in the future is judgment, like a call to action, a call to action, a really a time of like an inner calling and an absolution when it comes to making decisions for what's right for you, right? So what I think here is maybe like you, if you've been working with your intuitive gifts, right? You might feel like some something's coming either 
was like love was being taken away from you or love is going to be coming towards you um or like you you might even be trying to call call in a romantic offer i do kind of maybe feel like that's what's happening here but you're really being able to finish some things first you're really being asked to really step into um your inner calling like listen to your inner calling listen to I don't, like maybe you're even going through a spiritual awakening right now right and this is about um because i got the lover card here the lover's card and the lover's card is about really bringing harmony to relationships aligning with your values i'm um, paying attention to the choices that you are making right because what you got and that, that's how you can really help the help the situation is um make choices that are in your best interest to align with what you value right so if you are valuing romance like maybe maybe you're realizing like hey through my awakening i realized this i want romance in a relationship i want a stable love offer i want it to be something that i can pour into myself and pour into somebody else and it be a healthy relationship <coughs> because what you got here in the external is the nine of cups you have a wish fulfillment coming your way like it's almost like hey pay attention to what you are the choices that you're making because the universe is going to deliver you exactly what you're asking for but you have to be open to receiving it right because what you give what you give is what you get so if you and you have the knowledge you have the knowledge of how to do it and then um, you have the ability to give right? So you have the ability to give the knowledge and because you have the ability to give and receive equally, you know, you need to be making sure that you are doing that in a fair manner. Like if someone has been breadcrumbing you in the past, like no longer, you're no longer accepting that. Um, but this is about you finally getting the scales balanced and bringing in that stability and you even being that way yourself. Like if you have ever felt like you were closed off or like you weren't, um, receiving any offers, it's really, are you allowing yourself to see what's and be grateful for what is already around you? Um, because everything you're going through is based off choices that you make. But what I got here in the future outcome is you got the death card in reverse. Um, the death card in reverse is about a transformation, right? A transformation. It is about... Um, It could be your own, your own personal transformation. It could also be about resisting change a little bit, right? Resisting change. Um, let me get some clarification here. What are they resisting? What are they resisting? What is the person watching this resisting? Okay. So what I see that you are resisting is you are resisting letting go of a situation, right? That was very unbalanced, right? And so you got the judgment card here twice, but this time it came out in reverse. So the judgment in reverse is about you're, you're allowing your self-doubt, your self-doubt about your worthiness and the what you can bring to the table to influence the decisions you're making right so you're what i'm what i'm seeing here is that you're resisting your mind is playing tricks on you right your mind is playing tricks on you your mind is keeping you in a place of telling you lies about um which is causing in which is causing self-doubt and causing you to not see things how it are, how it is, and then causing things to be out of balance, causing your relationships to be out of balance. So when I see this, this is about, hey, don't let your mind play tricks on you. Don't let your mind play tricks on you. Allow yourself to bring in those stable relationships. There are relationships around you that are, I, mean, I feel like there are people around you that are trying to bring in this offer of love like off love is around you like you might have this belief that you're not worthy of love or there's no one there's no one around you that is trying to offer you love i do feel like love is being offered to you but your mind is playing tricks on you telling you that it's not part of it's not being offered right now i do see that it is but it's just yeah, look at new opportunities. 
new opportunities are coming your way. I feel like what's happening right now is you you are being you're you you're having to see something and really bring bring something like a rebirth like your your through your rebirth is really allowing you to help balance things out but your mind your your mind is still keeping you in that place of like I'm not sure if this is real right I'm not sure if this is real and but because your back your guard is up your guard is up you're very defensive right but you have the stamina to get through this whole situation yeah because look you got the death card in you have it this is a ending like the cycle is ending there is a transformation occurring this is a transition um just can just know that this self-doubt is going is going to clear itself out the more that you allow yourself to see the beauty and the magic that's out in you the more that's going to help clear out these this self-imposed doubt right because this is self-imposed this is you telling yourself um you're telling yourself that it can't be real and this is all happening in the now. So don't, the key is to not resist the change. Don't make the change harder than it has to be. Like the change is happening regardless. Like these decisions have already been made. You've already made some decisions. Now it's about letting everything else play out. Being happy about where things are because realistically your wishes are being granted. You can, I feel like you're gonna get exactly what you wanted. It's just the how, how it happens is, the detail, right? So remember, you can't control how it happens. You got to allow the universe to really step in and, you know, work its wonder. But don't resist it so much because I feel you're going to get exactly what you're asking for. There's just some things that you might not see yet. Continue to focus on putting good energy into yourself. Um, pay attention to the people coming towards you because I do feel like some people coming towards you or they're trying to be present in your life will be the ones that are here to bring you that happy, long-term, stable, loving relationship. Um, but you have to be willing to receive it. So I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. I love connecting with you. It always always brings me joy to hear where everyone else's story and how I can be of service and help them, you know, make help you make some decisions or even help bring you some guidance. But look, don't worry. Don't waste your time worrying. Worrying is a wasted emotion. And all it does is drain your energy. The only thing you can do right now is really be present in the now. All right. With that said, I didn't pull a purple card. Look at that. Psychic insight. And this is this is a great card to get, especially because we just had the Queen of Cups, which is someone that is really in touch with their intuitive with their intuition. Your third eye is opening. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. You're being divinely guided. You're being divinely guided. Like, listen, pay attention. Um, wherever your heart is kind of leading you right now, allow it to go. But remember, if it's for your highest good, the universe is going to take you there safely. Again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you again soon.